All right, welcome back, guys. So in this video, we're going to be continuing the general block out, and we're going to continue with this uh, area around here, the top. Now, to do this, it's going to be really simple. Um, instead of revolving on this uh, right face like we did on this one, we already have the exact same size that we want. So what we're going to do is just select this back surface here and then go to Create Sketch. Now that we did that, we can choose this Offset tool. And if you don't see it here, we can go to the Modify dropdown, then go to Offset. And the hotkey for that is O on the keyboard. So once you select that, we can select the border of this surface to give us a general shape. And we can try to eyeball this from the right side and try to bring this down lower to match and say, hey, cool, that works. But um, an easier way is just to think about it, you know, anatomically. You know, we want this, this area that we created already to fit inside here slightly, right? So it just needs to be a little bit bigger. So we'll bring it down to somewhere around here. So 0 0.203 looks like a good size. And once we're satisfied with that, we'll just hit OK. And then we'll go to Finish Sketch. Now we can rotate around and select this profile by left clicking on it. Then we can hold Shift and then select this center surface. Let's right click, go to Press Pull, and let's go back to the right view. And we'll just reference this as we see it. And we're going to bring it to this line here. So this line here, it's an identifier, so we know how far to bring it. So once we have it here, change the operation from join to new body, because we don't want to have these two connected, just in case we're going to 3D print this. And once you do that, just hit OK. And it's good to kind of think ahead and know what you're going to do with it. Now we have this little draft here where it goes small and it gets bigger at the end and to go about you know creating that shape we're gonna to go to modify draft rotate around the front side here and we want to select this surface then we'll select this surface go back to the right view and then we'll just start to drag this widget down which will you know ideally lift up the back end and we'll go for somewhere around here don't want it to be too big. And once we have that, we'll hit OK. And we can start creating some of these slices, but I think I'll save that or, you know, the next part. So what I, well, what I will do is uh, start to fill it off this corner a little bit. So I'll hit F. That's the hotkey for fill it. Then we'll select this border there, go back to the right view, and start to round it off so it better matches the reference. So it's something slight, nothing too much, and then we'll just hit OK. Now that that's done, we're not going to worry about these tubes just yet. See these tubes is one, two, and we know that that's mirrored on the back end as well. So we're not going to worry about this, but what we will do is worry about the shape that's underneath there, and which is a, it's another um, cylindrical surface. So we'll select this back surface. Create Sketch, choose the Offset tool, and remember, Modify, Offset, if you don't see it up there, we'll just choose the border, rotate back around, and this is going to be a subsurface, so it'll be underneath somewhere around here. And once you have that, you're satisfied. I think I'll make it a little bit bigger. Hit OK. We'll bring this surface out by selecting it, right click, press pull, go back to the right view, and we can see where we should bring it. And it, it goes to about here, right? And then it starts to go up further. So once we have it here, we'll leave it on, uh, we can leave it on join. It really doesn't matter, but I'll, I'll, I'll press uh, new body. So I'll change the operation from join to new body, hit OK. What I want to do from here is select this surface, create sketch, and uh, basically extrude this. So I'll select it, press pull, and I'll bring this out to here. 
And the reason I'm bringing this out is because this contour is right here. You know, it starts to get bigger from this point. So once we have this here, we can change it from new body, I mean from join to new body. And now what I want to do is toggle off this body. And we can do that by going to the left where it says bodies and hit the drop down. And if we hover over it, it should light up on the left side indicating which body it is. Once we know that, we can just toggle it off for a second. And what I want to do is create another draft from this point. So I'll go to Modify, Draft, select this front face, then select the side. Now back in the right view, I can start to pull down on this widget so I can better match that. And this looks to be good. So what I'll do is hit OK. And now we can toggle back on the other body so you can see it while we turned it off so we can see that front face, but now we have it. So at this point, um, you don't want to press pull this because if we press pull this, this is what will happen. So we're, we're just going to be continuing that and that's what we don't want. So what you want to do is select this surface and then create a sketch. And press finish sketch. Now what that did was give us some geometry so we can press pull. So it's like extruding. And we're going to ignore this little cut here. And we're just going to continue right about here. And now we'll, we, we can set it to join. I think it'd be good on join. Hit OK. So what I now want to do is um, select this back face, create a sketch. And I just want to extrude this to about here where it starts to uh, draft downwards. So we'll select it, right click, press pull, and we'll bring it to about here. And leave it on join. From this point, we'll select the surface, create a sketch, finish sketch, select that profile, right click, press pull, and we'll pull it to the decline, which is here. Change it from join to new body, hit OK. Go back to the bodies layer, and we just want to toggle off body number four, which is this previous one. Go to modify, draft, select this back face, then this side face here. Even though it's not a face, it's a, just a surface. And we'll just pull it down to about there. Hit OK. And we can toggle back on this body if we need to. And then we'll just select this surface, create sketch, finish sketch, select the profile, right click, press pull. And back in the right view, we'll just pull it to the end of this. So right here. And we can um, we can leave it on join if we need to. And then we'll just hit F, which is fillet mode, or we can just go to modify fillet, select this back ring here, and back in the right view, we can reference and pull it to here. Now that's good. Hit OK.